Eight. I'm a Batman fan. That's why I get five at first. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, parlor room. How we doing, guys? Are you guys still here for it? Uh, I'm apparently the highlight of the evening uh, because I'm doing the most time. So <laughs> settle in, because it's gonna get weird. Um, Jesus fuck. All right. My favorite part about this uh, this show so far is uh, how loud the music is and how great the sound equipment is doing. It's good stuff. Uh, so guys, my name is Dave. Um, I know I don't look like it right now. I know I'm like, my name is probably Arthur Fleck or some such. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Um, but... Uh, I have a very dark sense of humor. The thing about a dark sense of humor is it's very similar to an abuse-free childhood. Not everybody gets it. A lot of great childhoods in the crowd tonight. All right. Uh, this costume has made me have to shit seven times today because it's so tight. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking mess. Uh, so I had to go home recently for a funeral. And I was driving my mom to the funeral home. We got into a car accident. We were driving beer, but... She flew right out of the hearse. <laughs> Tough week for mom. Two car accidents, one week. Jesus Christ. It's fun. Uh, so I'm very uh, pro-life. I'm also very pro-women, so I only do anal. Uh, it's going to be the whole set, guys. The entire set's going to be like this. <laughs> Uh, so I was blowing this guy the other day, and he fucking died. Brutal. You could say he came and went. I'm just gonna do jokes. I'm not gonna waste your time. Uh, no, get after it, dude. Uh, do you like fucked up dark humor? Cool. You came to the right place. Uh, it's wild. Most people pay to see me. You get to do it for free. Um, uh, I'm actually not pro-life. Uh, however, I am very excited about Roe v. Wade being overturned. Mostly because I have all these stop options and back alley abortion clinics. <laughs> Financially, I'm fucking killing it. <laughs> but not as much as those doctors. You know? <laughs> Clever jokes, guys. Clever jokes. Uh, no, really, the, the only thing uh, that abortion laws have in common with the actual equipment used to do them is they suck. <laughs> Shit, do you guys not know how abortions are done? Or? Um, <sighs> Let's see what we got. Uh, so I, my friend's got this uh, a dog, uh, and I love her, you know, tight pussy. <laughs> That's a bestiality joke. All right. Uh, you guys stay with me. I won't have to lead you through every joke. It's gonna be fun. Uh, uh, so I've had a new girl over to my apartment recently. Give it up for me. It's been a disaster. Uh, it's been terrible. Uh, my neighbors keep complaining about the noise. So I've had to reassure them she will not escape. <laughs> I have learned from last time. It's a fun joke about me being a serial killer while dressed like the Joker. Good stuff. Um, do, do we have any true crime fans in, in the audience tonight? Any true crime fans? Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, so do you guys know uh, the tendencies of people about to become serial killers? Oh, I am one. Throw them out. Throw them out. Any, any tendencies? Head trauma. Uh, hurts animals. Yes. Good. Uh, a bedwetting, I think I heard over here. Good. Yes. Uh, also, like, head trauma, massive abuse. Thank God I just became a stand-up comedian. You know what I mean? It's good stuff. Uh, Got any uh, cat people in the audience? People like cats? Well, you're wrong. Um, but that's okay. Uh, it's fine. So, I have a cat, and uh, he's been bringing me a lot of dead things recently. So, as a concerned uh, cat parent, I Googled it. You know, uh, I was like, you know, I've been feeding this little piece of shit every goddamn day for eight years. What's he bringing me dead things for? Uh, turns out that means he th thinks I'm a bad hunter. You're not paying enough. Not gonna lie, guys, I was a little offended, you know. And I'm not proud of this, but I got on eye libel with the cat and was like, Yeah! You don't see me kill anything, because what I do it, it's in a storage unit lined with plastic, because I'm a goddamn professional. <laughs> Have you guys seen Dexter? Or... Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Um, no, I actually, I, I do have a new girlfriend, and she's great. She's very supportive and kind and sweet, uh, which is perfect, because now I have a character witness for the trial about the last one. Do you, do you guys see how this set's going to go? You're stuck with me for like another 18 minutes, so. Might as well get on board now. Uh, all right, let's see what else. Uh, so I was talking to my trans friend Jill about her penis, which is fine. That's totally fine and acceptable. But I only see her as a friend, so I had to cut her off. A couple of you guys got that one. That's good. That's good. All right. I'm not wearing my glasses. So. Uh, you guys ever have this happen to you where... Uh, you find out that one of your closest friends has killed themselves, and your first thought is, must be nice. <laughs> A couple dark comedy fans in the crowd tonight. Love that. Uh, you know, guys, thank God. Thank God for the vaccine, you know? Thank God. How else would Pfizer have made $50 billion to continue to produce fentanyl? It's a fun joke about science. So when I was in the military, I was uh, struggling with figuring out what my pronouns were. And it turns out, let me make sure I get this right, is uh, they are a murderer for oil. Did you guys get that yeah. one? Yeah. Right, cool. uh, so my favorite part, or one of my favorite parts of having black friends is that we can talk about how funny Donald Trump was without people being little bitches. Uh, the worst part of the war in Ukraine is that I don't get enough blowjobs. So we're still in war with Syria. Been at war with Syria for 30 years and no one's talked about it. No one talks about it at all. Uh, and I think that we have a... God damn it. Did somebody do something about this? Jesus Christ. Um, I think that we could do a lot better with our military. You know, like murdering the homeless. It's a fun joke about 6th Street. Uh, guys, I don't. I, I actually don't do a lot of political stuff on stage, but I'm gonna try one with you guys. Uh, so, like none of what I've just said applies. Um, uh, so I think it's about time we got a black school shooter. You know, where are the Hollywood casting directors on this fucking issue? You know what I mean? But don't you think, as a society? 
we deserve a strong female person of color in this role, obviously written for a white man. <laughs> I, I mean, they did it with a Little Mermaid. Why? Oh. Just seems racist to me. I don't know. Um, no, I'm actually uh, pro the Columbine shooters. Ah, shit, I fucked that up. Let me try that again. I am anti-bullying. <laughs> <laughs> Big pro bullying crowd tonight. All right, love that. That's cool. Um, and you guys know that uh, science is now becoming a religion. Uh, it used to be, the science was all based on facts, and you didn't have to believe it. It was proven. Uh, now you just gotta believe the science. Um, Side note, uh, you know that the internet can track your COVID-19 contraction rate, but it can't get rid of child pornography? That's interesting. So I, I think that, you know, like the government, science, uh, and the Catholic Church all have this thing in common. They just like to fuck big ass titty children, you know what I mean? <laughs> fuck it. And I get it, I love fucking them. Big old floppers. Well, it's dumb. Uh, so my last name is Borowski. Uh, it's a very Polish last name. Uh, and I don't know if we got any uh, history buffs in the audience, but the reason why I am the only Borowski in the wilds of the world that can reproduce another Borowski is because my dad was an only child and my grandfather got out of Poland just in time. That means Hitler killed half my family and then Stalin came in and murdered the rest. Which makes me special. Because not only am I the last Borowski that can reproduce another Borowski in the world, but I can tell genocide jokes. That's pretty fun. Also, I don't know if you guys know this. Eight million Polish people were murdered during World War II. Eight million. And I don't know if you guys are great at math, but that's two million more than the ones that bitch about it all the fucking time. <laughs> all right, you guys don't like the genocide jokes. Cool. <laughs> Uh, we'll move on to this one about this Japanese girl I used to date. And she was real cute, you know. She was real kawaii, uh, some might say. Uh, a little aggressive, though. Uh, basically decided she wanted to move right in. So I had to sit her down and be like, Hey, I don't think we should see each other anymore. She didn't really take the hint, so I had to drop the bomb on her a second time. Genocide can be funny. Um, so my parents were pastors. Uh, well, still currently are pastors. Uh, so they were very strict. Uh, one time my mom punched me right in the face for misbehaving. But I deserved it, you know. I, uh, I forgot to pull out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, you all search that shit on Pornhub. I don't want I don't want to have the audience pull back over the incest jokes. Um, uh, so I, I lived with uh, a couple roommates for like a year and a half. Uh, and over that year and a half, uh, my roommates had this theory that I had a cursed penis. Because everyone that I slept with over that year and a half that my roommates met... Um, either lost their jobs, wrecked their cars, got violently ill, massively depressed, one even attempted suicide. Uh, so I had to sit my roommates down and be like, hey, I don't have a cursed penis, I just have AIDS. <laughs> Which wouldn't have been a problem. Damn. Uh, if I wasn't taught something by my childhood mentor, uh, Father <laughs> Donald. Uh, I, I don't use condoms, you know. 
There's a couple layers of that joke. Uh, I'll walk you through it right now. Uh, first, first layer is that I just, you know, uh, said that, you know, I fuck people without condoms while having AIDS. Pretty funny. Uh, second layer is making fun of the Catholics and those dumb fucks for not using protection. Also very funny. Um, third layer is I just revealed I was molested as a child. <laughs> Funniest layer. Cool. You guys seem like a fun crowd. Um, when I was a kid, I used to fuck frogs. <laughs> How you imagine. <laughs> That's the point, we don't want to. I know. <laughs> Legitimately me laughing at my own joke. Uh, I try not to do that. Uh, Alright, we're going to do some quick ones and then I'm going to tell you some stories. Uh, <laughs> how? Perfect. Uh, it's good for me. Um, so I don't like dirty talk during sex. I think kids should have manners. Quick jokes, guys. Quick jokes. Yeah. You need to pay attention for about 13 seconds and you're good. Um, I cut myself shaving for the release. <laughs> I see you, fuckers. Some of you listened to My Chemical Romance when you were in high school. Oh, tell me you didn't. Jesus Christ. Um, so I... I uh, has anyone ever uh, met someone in person that... They uh, they already swipe left on. <laughs> it's a weird situation, you know. Uh, it's wild too. Tinder will tell you, like, oops, you missed a match. And then you look at your phone, and you look at them, and you look at your phone, and you look at them, and you're like, no, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> Now, generally, what that should say is, you know, hey, this unattractive person is someone's about to ghost you. It seems more accurate. What, am I the only person that's been ghosted in here, you fucking liars? Uh, no, it's wild, because uh, I moved to a new city because I was about to have a son. But he died, so even my kids ghost me. It is funny, but we're gonna go deeper with it. It's cool. Uh, I, I, I've actually I just broke my writer's block because my son died on September seventh, seven years ago. Um, and so September is always a hard time for me. It's it's tough for me to like, you know, get past that. Feel funny. Feel creative. Um, but recently I I, I broke uh, that writer's block because uh, I was like, oh shit, my son's dead. I can follow my dreams. Uh, <laughs> fun dark jokes uh cool Follow up, Rocky. yeah yeah it's good stuff um so uh, recently my sister told me that i'm fat phobic so i said i'm not scared of you i just don't find you attractive anymore <laughs> Yeah, guys, that's a joke where I used to fuck my sister, but I've done some growing, and certainly so is she. All right, you guys are starting to figure out how the set's going to go. Cool. Uh, uh, I, I, I honestly, I think there should be more school shootings. Damn. Damn. And that's not going back to the anti-bullying thing. And it's just because, like, you know, all of I, I, I've seen a lot of the tech bros and, and tech gals in this town. And uh, do we really need those kids? You know, like <laughs> these participation trophy fucking. Mom, did I do a good job? Die. Like, we don't need you. What we need is somebody that's, like, willing to be brave and do something controversial, you know. 
just a fun thought I've been having. Uh, every lesbian I've ever met in my life has either tried to fuck me or was in a healthy, happy lesbian relationship. <laughs> I just don't believe it, you know, and, I, and that could be wrong. It could be because I'm a very easy transition from a girl to a real man, but it just makes me curious, you know, like why, uh, why is it only healthy relationships that uh, people don't uh, generally get cheated on in? Um, oh, right, probably the healthy part. Uh, it's, uh, it's cool, I actually don't need you for this part of the show. It's wild. Um, you guys you guys ever... Uh, you guys ever go into uh, a, a hotel room and steal it? You guys ever steal a hotel room? All right, I'm going to break it down for you real quick, because uh, then i got to go. Um, but uh, it's it's a fun thing to do. You should do it. You try try to find like a vacation town, and like right in the middle of like here during ACL works perfectly. Uh, and what you want to do is walk through a random hotel room and just look for one of the doors that has the latch open, and then you just go into that room and put the do not disturb sign on the door, and now you got a free hotel room. It's pretty cool. I advise finding ones with uh, like a mini bar because then you can drink for free also. Um, however, what you shouldn't do, which is what I did the last time I took Xanax, uh, is take Xanax once you've stolen a hotel room. Because I remember doing that and then nothing else. And then the next day I woke up in my front yard on a mattress that was not mine, with one sock on and one shoe on without a sock. <laughs> have no idea how I got there. Um, so I had to get it relayed to me by my friends, who apparently I terrified by driving all the way back the 45 minutes from Ocean City, Maryland to Greenwood, Delaware, uh, places you guys probably don't need to know uh, where they are. Um, so what I did after taking Xanax is I got very high. I threw the mattress off of the balcony. Thankfully, it was just a two-story balcony. Uh, and then I, you know, cartoonishly tied the sheets together and climbed down the balcony to the mattress, got it, dragged it all the way to my car, tied it through the open windows to the top of my two-door car, and drove it the 45 minutes home, I should have been arrested. Uh, it's, it's, one, it's very funny. Um, but two, you shouldn't do that uh, because of, you know, cops and such. Um, so I guess the, the moral of the story is just uh, probably don't take Xanax when you're committing crimes. Um, cuts. You've been pretty freaking great. I'm gonna leave you on one last joke. It's gonna be quick. So, the trans community. Used to be different. Thank you guys so much. Good luck for your host. Thank you. Thank you, man. That was dark as hell. I love dark humor, and you have great Do you like ever, like, just... Hey, Joker, dude. Do you, you work at Roscoe's, right? Yeah. I thought I knew you, motherfucker. You, you got me fucked up one day. But, like... Do you ever just wake up and be like, it's a nice day? No. Yeah, I don't think so. I, I didn't think so. You, you said you fucked the frog? Yeah, when I was a child. That's different. That's real different, though. I don't even know what to say about that. I'm a Batman fan. Yeah. But Batman ain't shit for real. He just got money and gadgets. 
He ain't. He, he just got gadgets, for real. I'll beat Batman ass, man. I don't give a fuck about them shadows and shit and all that fucking hemp he was smoking, whatever.